Hello Libras! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of April 2019 Career and Finance, Love and Romance, Spiritual Guidance Reading. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to those of you who have come to me for month-to-month -month personal readings and who have written me afterwards to let me know how these uh, energies worked out in your favor. All right, so uh, I've already prayed over the cards, blessed them with my stones, and have laid out the Good Tarot uh, deck for the financial area in order to save a little bit of time and make these videos a little shorter since they are free and I need to get back to the personal readings. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading and these messages seem to resonate for you, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will be in the box below, and I am still offering the winter, soon-to-be spring uh, special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. All right, so... Um, The energies I am feeling for this general reading, so I can only pull in so many, this is for whichever Libra energy spirit felt needed this guidance the most, or this group of Libras. Um, we have a Libra here who is uh, unsure about uh, the future, which path to go into, contemplating whether or not they should devote themselves to forward movement in a new direction when it comes to finances. Uh, we have a Libra energy who has been uh, fearful of uh, how things are going to be taken care of financially when it comes to their home environment. Uh, but I feel like by the first week and a half to two weeks, this Libra is going to start to feel like things are just fine. Uh, Spirit is saying continue to hand your worries to Spirit about uh, covering these payments, mortgages, taxes, whatever it is, and know that Spirit at this time is definitely trying to guide you towards uh, contentment and security and stability. You'll start to feel more stable and secure, uh, hopefully by around the 4th of April 2019 for this Libra. Now, by the second week of April 2019, uh, I feel as though... Uh, this Libra was thinking about maybe moving into a bigger, better, more financially abundant, secure home or business environment. Um, but uh, yes, they're thinking about changing from one occupation to another. But I feel like by the second week of April, they're kind of holding back on those changes. By mid-April 2019, uh, there is some form of wisdom, some form of knowledge that is coming towards the Libra, something that feels very lucky or karmic, something that makes them sit back with contentment and, and really think about their security and stability. So uh, through your prayers, Spirit saying, we will take care of everything and put you into a position of security and stability. So if you should be receiving extra money in some way, uh, Spirit is saying, make sure to, of course, put it into savings, but also share it with others, donate, uh, help someone else who may be in need. All right, so uh, I already laid out the Good Tarot deck and did a circle spread. And in the center of the circle spread, we've got the Hermit Energies. So I'm not sure if this Libra is thinking about someone who has Virgo in their chart or if this is just a time to really think things through with the many keys there, which doorway is the right one for me. Uh, I maybe feel this, this Libra is saying to themselves, I'm feeling a little bit burdened uh, because of obstacles I am fearing when it comes to money and home and bills and etc. cetera. Um, but in your thoughts in the first week, week and a half or two of April 2019, this Libra is going to be receiving some form of communication, I think, regarding their finances. And again, they're going to be feeling very content and secure and stable. 
Um, now, in the relationship sector with others, it could be, again, that they are communicating with people in their current financial environment and or are thinking of a new offer, a new opportunity, a new direction, whereby they could advance and be more financially successful and stable. So as this Libra is meeting up with other people, um, they're contemplating uh, starting a new path, a new journey, and a new direction. But um, by the third week, Spirit saying with the call energies, Spirit is going to help for you to really get to the truth of not only what is in your highest best good, but what is in the highest best good of those whom love you. Now, in your actions position of the circle spread, we've got the messenger of air. So this is like um, you sharing information about what you have learned when it comes to finances, trying to make a decision, speaking your truth about what it is you are contemplating. Um, remember with a messenger of air energies to just speak your truth in a kind, fair, and uh, kind, just I keep hearing, in a kind manner. Um, because in your inner strengths position, spirit is giving you the strength to not worry so much about your finances. Uh, it's all about your mindset. And if you can have faith, uh, positive thoughts, and uh, prayer will indeed uh, take care of those concerns this Libra has regarding finances in the first half of April 2019. See, emotionally, uh, this particular Libra is going to be feeling uh, very abundant and secure. They're starting to recognize the success of their actions, uh, whether they stay where they're at or move into a new direction. See, subconsciously, they want to, with the full energies, uh, hop, skip, and jump into a new direction. But the zero represents thought and planning beforehand. So this is really a time in the first half of April 2019 where this, this uh, spirit is guiding for this Libra to just kind of think things through before making a change. The information will come that will put you in the energy of stability and security. Um, so just take action to um, communicate your concerns in a kind way with others, but know that spirit's giving you the strength to not worry so much. Okay, day to day, we have someone who is in a leadership position, someone who may be very financially abundant and secure. This could be a father figure, grandfather, uh, uncle, or a friend. Uh, so uh, this is about making a decision day to day when it comes to another person. Uh, this could be that someone got back in touch with Libra and wanted to offer them an opportunity tied to finances. But spirit is, again, and they, they could, again, have Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But there's someone who is uh, very secure and stable with their finances. They usually are a leader, a business owner. A manager of sorts and spirit saying slow your roll a little bit Libras in the first half of April and really think things through uh, you may receive kind words and messages with the page of water but these are very small forms of communication uh, you can indeed through prayer receive the six of earth energies success and contentment uh, by mid-April 2019 so in the first week of April 2019, in a three-card summary to my right with the same good tarot deck, Spirit saying you're going to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel after you take some time to rest and rejuvenate. Uh, so the first week is not a time to hop, skip, and jump in any new direction. It is a time to celebrate um, what you've been doing and the fact that another offer may indeed be coming your way through another person in the first week or two. By the second week for sure, uh, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So the wheel is turning in your favor. Communication is coming regarding your current circumstances. So uh, maybe this Libra was in a lull and now they're starting to feel very financially independent and secure. They may still be thinking about moving into a new direction regarding their finances, but Spirit is saying just take your time, uh, think things through. Uh, by mid-April 2019, we do have a little bit of heartache energy here. Um, I'm not quite sure what that's about. Let's see. With the Five of Water, they're saying that uh, there could be some 
Libras that are reminiscing uh, about someone from the past or a situation in the past by which they used to work or that they used to be in connection with. Uh, they may be feeling unappreciated or maybe they haven't been appreciating the ones whom by which they love. So justice is turning in your favor, Libra. Uh, spirit is helping for you to cut away from negative thinking, negative people, places, circumstances, and environments in order for you to find balance once again in your life. Yes, we do have uh, a Libra who may be thinking of someone in their past. They may be thinking about engagement, marriage, moving in with another, or committing to uh, an old place of employment uh, and going back and discussing that old place of employment. Yes, but now is a time for a very spiritual transformation to cut away from unhealthy thoughts, feelings, and emotions tied to uh, others. It's a time to be very patient and to give thanks to the ones who really love and care for you and that you love and care for, okay? Things will be just fine. All right. Now, I'm going to bring in the Osha Zen Tarot. Osha Zen Tarot. And discuss the energies of love and romance for this Libra energy. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please provide clarity and guidance for this Libra energy. Yes. So, again, there may be a Libra who is in deep thought with the Four of Wands. Uh, I need for everyone to participate, to come together, to celebrate what we have created thus far. I feel as though in order to um, move forward with another, I need them to participate in the celebration of what we have together. Uh, in the first week, week and a half of April 2019, in the thoughts position of the circle spread, uh, the fighting energy is about kind of pulling back, opening yourself up to love. Uh, somebody's trying to communicate with you in kind ways, and this Libra is reacting in a protect and defend mode for whatever reason. Uh, so think about opening your heart more uh, to others and um, just enjoy the communications that come your way. There's nothing you need to really do with that except appreciate the kindness or the communication that you're receiving. Um, okay, so by the second week of April 2019 in the relationship sector, uh, there may be a Libra who is trying to make a decision. Uh, they're being guided to ground themselves when it comes to maybe someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Yes, we have the King of Pentacles energy here. So uh, again, somebody, this Libra, in the relationship sector is trying to make their mind up about someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, in the first couple weeks. So Spirit is saying in the creative aspects position, take your time to look at things from every perspective with the hangman energies before making a decision, before making that call, right? Spirit is going to help you uh, to really think things through for a period of time. Um, before coming to a final decision regarding communication from another. Now, by mid-April 2019, uh, it's about um, speaking your truth, remember, in a care, kind and fair way, and thinking about a new opportunity, a new direction, but not playing the fool, making sure somebody else is participating in what in the manifestation of what you want for the future. So by mid-April 2019, uh, we have got the High Priestess uh, bringing in the truth. There may be financial abundance and security or the coming together with another and... Uh, Spirit saying, as you sit back and observe whether or not this person is going to physically, mentally, and emotionally participate in the manifestation of a solid foundation in love, uh, wait and observe and see if this communication grows and really look at things from every perspective before moving into a new direction. Speak your truth, speak your truth, okay? Subconsciously, yes, subconsciously, you want to hop, skip, and jump and go passionately towards another. 
but again, Spirit, same with the Two of Earth. It's a time to balance yourself. Uh, this Libra may be thinking of someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, but with the ordinariness energy, it's about just being okay with the ordinary day-to-day, -day, okay? Uh, you've been down a path maybe with this person before, and it is a time to really think about what transpired in the past. Uh, if there have been any changes in this connection recently, how you're going to handle maybe the situation a little differently by speaking your truth before moving forward and making any changes. Yeah, look at that. Spirit's giving you the strength to not worry about your finances and to postpone um, this fantasy, this illusion, this idea to rest with the Four of Swords and rejuvenate. Don't make a decision based on, okay, this person could put me in a greater financially abundant and secure position. Uh, be okay with the ordinariness of your current circumstances and think things through. Yes, because in the first week, we have a Libra who is wanting to hop, skip, and jump and take a risk to move into the direction of another. And Spirit is saying, be careful of the energies of the Seven of Swords, okay? That is about self-destruction. Be open to discussing uh, the completion of what happened before. Something may have completed and now it's kind of being resurrected. Again, Spirit saying, focus on your own financial success, the ordinariness of each and every day. As some Libras are being guided to let go, or there's a desire to let go of what was. I'm feeling like that's in the financial realm, but also, uh, yes, because I do feel like there's going to be success, uh, acknowledgement, recognition in the first couple weeks of April 2019. But again, Spirit saying, don't try to hop, skip, and jump and be the fool. Uh, let go of a desire to uh, make any quick changes in the first half of April 2019. Be okay with sitting in the nothingness energies. Uh, just enjoying your space. Now is a time for a moment of pause. Yes, because we may have someone with a very rebellious and wild energy coming towards you, which is like a lion in sheep's clothing. It's about honoring the truth of the situation. Is your truth that you are all tied up in knots because of that passionate connection? The world is wide open and spirit is saying um, you have become the master of your life path journey. You can now see the truth of a situation and you have the strength to postpone something as you speak your truth with it to another. It's a time of great innocence. Okay. It's a time to go through a rebirth to look at the situation as very karmic. So there's innocence and change. So as you're contemplating a change, look at the situation in a very innocent light, a playful light. Walk slowly towards what could be the next chapter of your life with another. Look at the situation as an adventure um, and recognize that you have the courage to push beyond anyone or anything that stands in your way. You are not trapped or stuck. Some Libras by mid-April are able with the awareness energies to burn away from the dust of the past. And to kind of tune into themselves as they sit and let this chaotic energy transpire around them about coming out of illusion as your wishes are coming true. Somebody I think that this lever wanted is coming back towards them, but it's about having a more advanced perspective, not falling into the energies of illusion. Um, yeah, it's about healing and compromise. All right, so I'm going to close by pulling one card from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Word of prayer, please, for this Libra energy. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, on into and through the first half of April 2019. Okay, so really focusing on you, your life's purpose, your journey, your goals and intentions. 
Spirit saying that uh, the situation is already resolved. They already know how this is going to happen, so they want you to sit back and just observe. For some Libras, it is indeed time for new beginnings and a fresh start in your life to leave behind all that has transpired before now, as this year is about new intentions where you can find peace, joy, and happiness by the year of 2020, being strong enough to uh, surpass what has been going on uh, in the past with others or with regards to old financial situations and to keep your eyes on your targeted intentions for the year of 2019. You are guarded and protected at this time. Again, focus on your own life path, your own personal journey. Now would be a really good time to come up with a hobby, gift, talent, or skill to get those supplies or crafts and to work on those and start maybe a small business in the evenings and weekends or whenever it is that you're not working. We have the uh, beautiful uh, opportunities via the internet. We have many platforms, Etsy, Amazon.com, you name it, to put pictures of what we're manifesting out there, to slap a price tag out there, to line up PayPal with our bank account and uh, create an additional income. So it's about figuring out what makes you happy and not trying to worry so much about making others happy with all your energy in the first half of April 2019. It's about putting that energy into yourself as you sit back and observe. So uh, your prayer is, Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose, and I ask you to help me to be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking uh, the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. So it's definitely time to focus on your current career ideas, your goals and intentions related to career and finances. And again, for those of you who are secure and stable with your financial area and you're thinking about someone who's coming back from the past or from a, or about an old occupation you may want to go back to, uh, Spirit is saying really ground yourself by focusing on a hobby, gift, talent, or skill because you could create your own financial abundance and eventually maybe your own business. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Today is my birthday, so I'm only going to be able to film a couple, and then I'm going to go get a massage and be taken out to di dinner. Uh, thank you again. Take care, and God bless.